y'all, it's India Samson, and welcome back to my take where we talk all things basketball. Let's get into it. to the breaking news this week the Denver Nuggets have advanced to the finals for the first time in franchise history give a little two snaps two claps to them and I got a couple of DMs the other day saying to go easy on the Lakers listen I will if you look at the big picture here the Lakers weren't even supposed to make the playoffs in the first place so the fact that they got so far in it definitely gives props to their mentality as a team and as an organization. I'm happy that the Nuggets won though because the way that they were playing, they deserve it. They deserve it. But I also noticed that the teams that have been advancing are the teams that play more in the paint and you know get their buckets in the paint and not shoot threes or they do mid-range. That is probably one of the only reasons Miami is 3-2 over the Celtics right now. I mean, by the time you're watching this, you'll either know if the Miami Heat won the fourth game or if the Celtics pushed it to a game seven. Let me know in the comments below what happened. And also, do you want Miami or the Celtics to win? I am personally conflicted. I've been saying in all my videos, I want the Celtics to win this year. You know, like I want Jason Tatum to get a ring, his first ring, whatever. I think he deserves it. I do want the Celtics to win, but I also want Miami to win because I think that it would be a great series to watch with Denver and Miami. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But speaking of things to watch, there are rumors going around that LeBron is going to retire. And in an interview, he said this. I like to say it's a successful year because I don't play for anything besides winning championships at this point in my career. And, um, but we'll see. we'll see. We'll see what happens going forward. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I got a lot to think about, to be honest. I got a lot to think about, to be honest. And um, just for me personally, going, going forward with the game of basketball, I got a lot to think about. Everybody literally went crazy. The whole internet, like, exploded, y'all. Let me tell y'all, he's not going to retire. Just because he said that he needs to figure it out doesn't mean he's going to retire because he's definitely trying to make history and is definitely going to wait for Bronny to get in the league and get drafted so that he can go to whatever team he gets drafted to. If LeBron decides not to retire and stays, you know, for season 21, I think that he'll play like here and there. He won't play as much next season. I honestly think it's kind of crazy though because he's literally been in the league as long as I've been alive. Oh, three babies. <laughs> um, but that's so crazy to me. Like my whole life, he's played in the NBA. But speaking of people that were drafted in 03, Carmelo Anthony retired and he said this in his retirement video. Take a look. I remember the days when I had nothing, just a ball on the court and a dream of something more. Time has come for me to say goodbye. My son, my legacy, now and forever, lives on through you. It was so touching and with his son playing as well I can't wait to see how that develops. He gets in the league, how that dynamic would look with him and Bronny. Woo, we're in for a treat these next couple years. And this will make LeBron the only player in the league that was drafted in 03. I need to at least see Bron play two more seasons and I'll be like, all right, time for the next generation to step in. But anyways, let's move on to who stood out in fashion this week. So Tyler Hero, the commentators have not been liking his off the court outfits. But Reggie, you know the number one reason the Heat need Tyler Hero back? Because his fashion is so bad on the bench <laughs> that we need him in uniform. He's not playing right now, as we all know. He broke his hand a couple of weeks ago. The commentators are flaming him so hard. I'm like, dang. But granted, 
the fits are not that good. So hopefully we can see him in the finals and we don't have to, you know, watch him sit on a bench in a bad outfit. But at least his team is playing to win the championship. But anyways, the person that wins the trophy this week is Kelsey Plum. She is a WNBA star and she plays for the Las Vegas Aces. My girl always on her stuff. She got the Rick Owens on. She is styling with the leather, the glasses, and even the bun is given slick back. She doing it. I started actually watching what she wears last season. And I was like, oh, she kind of fire. I'm gonna have to keep up with her. So, and I would definitely wear what she's wearing for sure. If y'all haven't noticed, the things that I like the most in fashion are more street wear, like chill vibes, big pants, maybe a little shirt or jacket, like just big, big stuff, or either little shirt big pants or little pants big shirt and then obviously some like fire shoes but anyways with different things coming up i want your opinion about everything so make sure you check out my instagram stories at india.samson to comment on the conversation let's get into it let's chat let's do it who wore the best outfit this season who do you want to win the chip and so much more so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and click that bell so you never miss a video but with that being said that is it for now see you guys in the next one bye